Nightmare My Man, Josh. tell me. <laughs> Are you excited? Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I wouldn't say I'm excited, but, um... <laughs> uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I, I, I guess I could say I'm... I think I'm... Op- what's the word I'm looking for? Optimistically cautious, I guess, is the word yeah. I'd probably use here. See, that's, I, I think... that's a good mentality, because right now, to be honest, my yeah. expectations are pretty low, which is probably a good thing. I think it's better to always have low expectations than high expectations, just because... I love Black Widow as a character and everything, mm. but like this movie oh, yeah. in particular, I think the timing of it releasing is just weird. You know what I mean? I I think that's the main issue with this movie. I, I was thinking about this beforehand. Like this movie came out in for me too little, too late. Yeah, <laughs> it feels I like mean, this movie came out years ago and we just never got a chance to watch it. So now we're like, okay, yeah, let's watch it. Yeah. But then you're like, but what's the point? We already know she dies in Endgame. <laughs> Like she isn't gonna die. Like we know for a fact she's not dying in this movie. That's there's no so there's no real yeah. worry for her character at all. Like we know she's gonna survive this movie. Like that's the only characters you probably had to be concerned with, I guess, are the newer characters, which are in in, in this movie. The newer like her friends or family, I guess, if yeah. you will, because we haven't met them before. They're completely new characters, so their fates are kind of unknown at the moment. We don't know if they're gonna be if they're alive by Endgame or dead. We're not 100 sure. So they're the only ones you're probably, probably, I guess, you know, concerned about or intrigued by. But Black Widow, not really, because you know she's going to survive. Not really too much to worry about there for her. Um, but I think this movie should, like, I, I mean, this movie takes place after Civil War, mm-hmm. sometime after Civil War, which is, you know, looking back, Marvel originally they were kind of keeping things in order. You know, they were always like releasing certain movies after certain times like the first avengers they had the next phase which was like thor dark world iron man 2 captain america you know it was like they were bringing all these movies and they were keeping them in order and then for whatever reason they just kind of messed up here because this movie's coming out it's supposed to be after civil war but it's coming out yeah like way later now when I, I heard it was confusing I, when i heard it was uh gonna be about the uh it, it t- when I heard what time this takes place in, I was really confused. I was like, "But what about that?" <laughs> it's like Budapest all Budapest. over again. Yeah, that, yeah. that line. Yeah. I heard. I heard this movie was going to be about that because that was a pretty dramatic event. But then, no, this mm. takes place after Civil War. No. It's like, oh, okay. I, I, honestly, I thought it was going to be an origin story that. initially too. I was like, it's either, I mean, there it's might either be about some the Budapest elements. job or it's an origin story, but it's neither of those. It's just kind of weird. I think there might be some flashbacks, you know, there might be some possible, because I know we saw in the trailer there was, like, a younger-looking Black Widow, or younger-looking character that we saw, so, or something like that. So I'm sure there's going to be some flashbacks and a little bit more about her backstory in this movie, I would assume. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I, 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 you know, honestly, when you mentioned that, I was like, honestly, I wouldn't mind seeing that movie. If they're, you know, yeah, you got I, I Hawkeye and Black Widow, <laughs> I kinda Hawkeye see and that Black movie. Widow. In, in Budapest, I think that'd be a cool movie. And I Hawkeye think that'd be cool gets more that. screen time, and we get to see how their relationship was yeah. formed. And but yeah, that would have been that would have been great too. But no, we're I would have been more into okay. that. <laughs> but we're getting this a solo Black Widow movie that we've all wanted forever, but they took for fucking ever to make it happen. Yeah, and they did it when she's dead. So and. The, yeah, the only upside partner. with this, though, is uh, for people that haven't seen any MCU movie, when they want to start watching them, I guess, since this is now out, that you can show this to them before Endgame. Like, have them watch Civil War and then have them watch this one. I feel like that's a good yeah. strategy. I mean, yeah, MCU in, in order, fans like, huh? like us, where it's like, oh, we waited for 10 years to get this. Okay. Yeah, it, like I said, I think by the end, it, it, whether or not this movie is good or bad, I don't know. We've heard some mixed I've heard opinions mixed on it. Yeah, mixed opinions, mixed feelings. I haven't heard on it, anyone so say it was amazing. I haven't heard anyone say it's awful either. So it's basically it seems likely that it's in the the average pro- possible, which I could probably see it being around that margin of an average movie. I could I could see that, but uh. Uh, we'll have to wait and see for ourselves, though. So uh, let's yeah. get it. Three. Black Widow. Two. Twenty-one. Let's. One.
Let's do this. Oh, and this movie has Taskmaster, uh, who's one of my favorite Marvel villains, so I, at the very least, I hope it'll make him, like, a joke. We'll, we'll see what they do. I, I I said before, I think I told you guys this, I, I'm i worried they're not going to do his character justice, but we'll see. Ohio, 1995. You're right. Flashbacks. <laughs> I called it, and I that, that so I'm guessing that is Natasha. Hmm. So I'm thinking that's, that's actually Natasha. What the f- She's got blue hair! One of every color in her hair in the MCU at this point. Pain only makes you strong. Walk it off. <laughs> we've all we've all had those moments. So my dad when we told were younger, me when though. I was a kid when I got her just said, Tough it out. Walk it off. <laughs> <laughs> Walk it off. We've all had those moments there where we fall and scrape our knees or whatever. Literally get shot. Walk it off. <laughs> <laughs> it's like what it's like what Cap said. Get killed, walk it off. Fireflies. Looks like ladybug. Uh, yeah, a firefly. Excuse me. Why did I say ladybugs? Fireflies. Hey, I was a mac and cheese man boy a long time ago. Trust me. For me, man, back in the day. Oh yeah, that was my go-to meal in school. Yeah, back in the day. Yeah, for me, when I was younger. Of course, I've I've kind of you know lost interest in it for reasons. I grew out of it. I, I hear an arrow probably. When you eat something too much, yeah, I grew you get tired of it. Of it. <laughs> that uh, blue hair, man. My goodness. It's one of her character traits, I guess. Gotta keep changing her hair color. I, I just, I just, I can't. God, like. He just looks like so I didn't know. different. It's weird. It just, it, it doesn't. Uh, not my, not my best, not the best choice for me. I, I'm assuming that this is uh, maybe something to do with Hydra. Maybe I don't know. Or this is a totally new, different group. I can't remember. I'm not entirely sure. Dang, bro. Strong boy. <laughs> you Superman over- you freaking Superman over here? Shoot man, if you can do that, you can take these cops, just tip over the vehicles. Yeah. It's freaking- <laughs> You don't need to- you don't need a gun. Away. Maybe, I, I don't know, maybe he's able to like- only... Oh Dang, no, man. she got shot. Well, I know she ain't dying, because we see her later in the movie anyway. Is he still hanging? Yep, yeah, he's uh, you might want to get Tom inside, Cruise. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he's an hanging on the planes, <laughs> like French Polynesia. Was he still hanging on that plane? I wonder if he was still hanging on that plane. I don't know. <laughs> he was was he plane still hanging on that trip? plane. Then? Oh, Cuba. Okay, <laughs> that was way mm. off. I think that guy that talking is probably like the dude Drake, that we see Drake in the trailer. Of, yeah, like, yeah he, he's know, the guy. He's, he's the main like, cause antagonist. He's got, he's got the mustache. He and he's got that voice going on. Well, that was a heck of an opening. <laughs> Very different from your run-of-the-mill Marvel movie, for sure. Hey! Right. He was in oh, Civil War and Infinity War. Yeah, he, and he was in The Incredible Hulk. He's back again, folks! I don't know why, but for some reason I'm getting, uh, like, Jason Bourne movie vibes. Jason Bourne vibes a little bit, yeah, considering she's on the run, like Jason Bourne basically was. Yeah. Oh, snap. Fight scene. Not much of a fight, though. Uh, she pulled the Arya Stark. <laughs> Arya I was about to say, she pulled Arya Stark! <laughs> the heck is that? Oh. Oh, is she being like mind controlled? Ah, uh, what's that released her? Taskmaster. Self. Taskmaster protocol. Hunts the hunts the deserters. Oh, he's watching the Black Pan uh, Black Panther and Clint fight there on the airport. Yeah. S -s -s he's, studying. He's watching them. He's watching the movie. <laughs> he's watching the movie. Don't interrupt me. I'm watching the movie, guys. <laughs> Fanny Longbottom. Sounds like somebody in Harry Potter or something. <laughs> sounds yeah. like Neville Longbottom. Like somebody out here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's his sister or cousin. It's his sister. <laughs> it's got the. It's definitely got that Jason Bourne vibe. You know, she's out here mm -hmm. on the run. She's going to these house places. She's a spy low. or assassin. Yeah. That type of thing. Lots of different something like locations that, yeah. around the world. <laughs> An organization oh, yeah. trying to hunt her down. Oh yeah, very Jason Bourne-esque here, people. It's basically a uh, female Jason Bourne. Basically, yeah. Which, you know, I'm not opposed to. Yeah, I don't mind. What the fuck? 
Oh my goodness! Holy moly, ladies and gentlemen. That was a big ass explosion. <laughs> this man is full on Winter Soldier up in here now. He's good at his job. That's, yep. That's him, alright. That's definitely Taskmaster. Oh, dang. It ain't the Girl Scout selling cookies. <laughs> De definitely not. Whoa! Shades of Captain he America. Copy Captain America. Oh, he copied her! Dude. Damn! They oh, he's got evaluating her moves. With... Yeah, that's that's one of his abilities. All right. He's like, I'll take that. Oh shit! See ya. Ooh, Dude didn't see it. Oh, job. she got him out of there. Damn! These girls don't fuck around. She's getting some hard hits in. I mean, when she got that plate slammed in her face, you'd think there'd be a cut somewhere. I was about to say, that's Taskmaster oh. again. Sheesh! Nah, <laughs> uh, that's not. If that was him, I'd be like, damn, my man Taskmaster ain't playing games! He's, he's like, I'm gonna be in every scene in this movie! <laughs> Girl literally let herself die. Oh, damn. How in the hell? God! How in the hell would you be able to stand after that? Did her leg break, too? See, it's bent weird. Yeah, her leg was broken. <laughs> Which makes you wonder how the hell Black Widow didn't... Exactly, how are her legs even thing. intact? What the shit was that? No, oh my lord, I thought the Hulk had shown up or something. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> what the fuck? I guess she's, you know, I guess she's dealt with him too, This reminds guess. me of driving the APC in the Ballad of Gay Tony and just running into all the cars in GTA 4. <laughs> Uh, oh no, it's, it's the undercar explosion bomb. Ah, uh, uh, shit, it's a Winter Soldier! He's, he just pulled a Winter Soldier. Just don't make a scene. He made a scene. You made a scene, didn't you? This movie is pretty quick, it's moving off awfully quickly though, I'll admit. Yeah, that's right, he's a super soldier, kinda like Captain America. Ouchie! Yeah. Oh yeah, this movie's... He's not oh, able to make it. right in the snow. Non-stop action, though. Hey, there's that pose. It's the poses, man. They look cool. Come on. <laughs> what did you do? Oh, shoot. You <laughs> caused an avalanche. No, it's not. Huh? Be buried alive. I don't know about that. Are those prisoners going to die? Back inside, or I guess all of them are going to die, bro. Unless y'all get your butts back inside. Man, I don't You're know gonna be buried alive in there, though. We'll be able to get I don't out. know, man. There's there's no way out of this. They can't hear you. I'm pretty sure they're all dead. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they just murdered all those people in that prison. Why the aggression? Is it your time of the month? I don't get my Oh lord. I don't have a uterus. Moreover, it's kind of just go in and they rip out. All of your reproductive organs. They talk about fallopian tubes. Okay. This is a. This is a Disney movie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is a Disney movie. <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember Disney being allowed to bring up stuff like that. I don't think we have enough fuel for St. Petersburg. Oh, we're good. We're back. <laughs> yeah, about that. <laughs> I'm about sorry. that. That was fucking hilarious. We'll make it. We'll go. <laughs> Just crashes down seconds later. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That was funny. Good boy, Alexi. Good boy. Oh, he named him Alexi after him. Oh my lord. Ooh, that's insulting. Alexi could have survived 11 more seconds without the oxygen. Good boy. Now you go back, back home where it's mm -hmm. safe. Again, I will repeat what I said earlier. This is a Disney movie? It's very dark. <laughs> what the hell? Like, Jesus, they just had a pig d damn near die in a Disney movie! Like Disney, they don't they don't play around that yeah. shit. They don't let animals die in their movies. They they don't go that far as much as, much as they, they used to be a little bit. Oh, damn. It'll definitely be the day, my friend. They think. There you go. Yeah, that, that'll do it. Just stand there and get hit. Okay. Jesus. To the red room. Oh, they got her already? Or is she playing dead? 
pretending to be knocked out. I don't know. That's possible. I'm sorry. Or, oh. You traitor! I haven't shown a lot of Dracoff in this movie at all. He's had like maybe a few bits and pieces of scenes, but not yeah, very much at all. Yeah, he's pretty significant to the story, but he's hardly. Yeah, they it. don't. He's not had. He's not even said. He's not even had a scene with Taskmaster at all. He's just. Maybe we'll see him here soon in the near the end. Maybe. Black Widow's the only one we know of. Oh, hey, he's finally showing. Finally. What? Oh shoot! I forgot she had that tech. She had that in the that little, yeah, that little Winter Soldier. She pulled that disguise in a, in a Winter Soldier. Uh oh, oh wait. What? The bomb exploded. Nearly killed my Antonia. Is that his daughter? What? What? <laughs> She can do it. Uh, uh and Taskmaster is a female. Uh yeah. I, I I have mixed feelings right now. Well there you go. There's your one there's your one flaw. <laughs> yeah, this oh, ain't epic. That, that is a too. flaw. <laughs> that is false casting. False. False, false, false. God damn it, Marvel Disney. Uh maybe this is what Maybe this is what uh, anywhere I met with an article where it makes men, you know, ha ah, man, get get you some. Maybe that's what they meant, because they fucking cast Task as a female instead of what we actually know him to be. Uh. Damn it! This movie was actually doing good you too. Mind if I pause it for it and just think about this? <laughs> he, do you remember what sure. I said before this movie started? Do you remember, do you remember what I said? Uh... What I said, say? I, don't I hope that. they don't screw up Taskmaster because he's one of my favorite Marvel villains. I... Uh, well, congrats. well, here you go. And what do they, they just screwed him up. And what do they do? I. I if they Marvel, really. What's, what, you why know do you keep I, doing this to my favorite villains? Not what? just villains, even heroes. Like, why do you just continue to do this why, shit? Uh, period. Like, they they fucking you had it. They fucking pulled it. You had me. Not like this, but in a different context. But they pulled shit like this with Quicksilver and WandaVision. <sighs> and the Mandarin from Iron Man I'll, Three. The same thing. They turn them into yeah. a fucking. Basically, they don't make the character seem the way that you know them as that you know and love. They just yeah. Have the character's name, but have they, they put just, a twist on it? Yeah. Look, look at what look, they're look. doing here. They so put a it's not not everything has to be a hundred percent like the comics, no. But dude, this this is like at least it, this is like common sense type easy peasy shit like, right here. It's like, like this casting, ain't something you can just fuck up. It's like casting a Japanese woman as Spider Man, and you still call them Spider Man. Like, do you, do you understand mm, or, or, yeah, or, yeah. the conundrum? <laughs> I, 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 what's crazy about this now, man, is that we're, I mean, we're near the end of this movie. It's obvious, the third act of the movie. But, like, dude, I was hooked. You had me, man. Like, you... They actually had me in this movie. You had me hooked. I was Damn. getting, I was on board. I was, I was, I was doing, they were doing so good. And then this one part right here kind of. Fucks it up. Oh my god! Not ta this hashtag, hashtag not my taskmaster over here. The more I'm just getting more pissed. More I think about, let's get this over with. Oh, <sighs> god damn it, Marvel! God damn it, man! They were doing so good. Damn it, Marvel! Oh, let's damn see Disney. how this final. Let's see how the final battle goes. I guess. <laughs> Couldn't do it. What? His cologne is his power? <laughs> That's Wait, pretty that that dumb. So Draco basically really has the powers out. of has the power of smell. If you can smell him, you can't hurt him. <laughs> Why don't you just plug her nose? Or hold your breath. <laughs> you put a nose plug. You put a nose plug on there. You have a nose plug in there in that belt or something. Yeah. 
You Just get a couple of tissues, put them up your nostrils. There you go. Kill them. <laughs> Pops. Okay, maybe this movie. I think I see what this movie's trying to do now. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I think I know what you mean. I feel like I know what they're trying to message. This is the third act of the movie, man. They turned me off. God damn it, man. I'm actually pissed. I was actually into this. Mm, all these women. I get, I now I'm starting to get the picture about this whole thing a little bit now. Yeah. He's got to control these women, you know. There's like that whole, you know, man control. I get what they're trying to say now. I see the social it's commentary. Little, yeah, motherfuckers. The third act. Tor Thank you, for the you were almost done. <laughs> Really I'm trying to enjoy the ride, but I feel like I'm being preached to right now. Like, literally, they had me. <laughs> like, you got- you had me. She break her nose? Oh, well, that's one way to escape. Sorry. Oh, my lord. They're killing- they are destroying her, man. She's gonna like toss it right there in the middle of the group or something. Like, cool. Oh yeah, it. there you go. There you it is. Saying, you were saying? You were saying? You were saying? I called it. Well, you're calling out like everything except for that Taskmaster twist. In Marvel, if it floats in the sky, it's always going to crash. It's <laughs> always. <laughs> Ooh. Ow. Oh. Okay, she she did break her nose. Oh gosh. Exploding. Red room, as they call it. He's still got Taskmaster's shield. I bet he's gonna turn that shield and use it because he wants to, feel, you know, Captain America and all that. Oh yeah. He's gonna have that shield. He's gonna him. make one more Captain America joke. I bet Captain America couldn't have done that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Bye bye. Oh my lord. Well, there he goes. There he goes. So long, Draco. So long, Draco. You hardly really knew you. So I got the vial. Oh. I wonder if they got dusted in the snap. Well, they never showed up in in Endgame or anyway, so I don't know. That's true, they I, I didn't. Just, you, would, you would think that uh, Natasha oh, would have called them for help in Endgame. Yeah. They may, they may have been snapped, but they may have just been busy with finding other widows or something, I don't know. Oh, they're starting through hey, you, Warlock. Blonde hair. Oh, that's the uh, jet that they used in Infinity War to rescue uh, Vision mm -hmm. and uh, Scarlet Witch. I'll be damned. Connecting the dots there with this one. There's a little lightning bugs there. Or fireflies. Fireflies, dude. First come ladybugs and then lightning bugs. Uh, I'm all over the place. Oh, this is... Natasha's grave. Oh damn! It's after uh, after Endgame. Yeah. I would say her sister is likely going to become the new Black Widow. <laughs> it's possible. Maybe you'd like a shot. At the oh boy. For your sister's death. Did you die? Oh come on! He didn't kill her. I mean, he was there when she died, but it wasn't. Oh sh shit! Oh, my boy goodness. Hawkeye is being hunted. No. For no reason. No. Wonder what's gonna happen with the the Hawkeye series then? Is there gonna be something with this? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I could see there being some connection there. Clearly. Well, damn, Hawkeye's being oh. hunted uh, for a for the killing of not Tasha, even though he didn't fucking kill her. It was her sacrifice. I don't know where they got the information from, but I don't know how they got that false. information when they're on a different planet. <laughs> yeah, but how how they get it and and how the, and who gave them that information? Because that's pretty that's false information right there. I'm just saying. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was Black Widow. Woo! I'm very, oh, I'm very mixed. Very very mixed. Oh, dude, I am so pissed. I like was, the first me and you and were second hooked, act. Like, I'd say the end of the first mm. act and beginning of the second act, I should say. There was a lot of action, you know, brutal action yeah, and there was some hard action. hits and stuff. Some good character yeah. building, and I like the callbacks to, to yeah. the other movies and characters. But man, I, that third I, I did, act just I, sunk. I, that the movie, third act. Uh, oh my god, that oh. third act tore this movie apart. Holy shit. 
I I never Damn. the movie went from zero to fucking a thousand like out of nowhere in that third act. For it, the got, ridiculous it got ridiculous. Shit. It got absolutely yeah. ridiculous. Why does Marvel I'm like, do this? I'm like, this movie had me hooked. <sighs> I was into this movie it for the first and second act, shit. man. <laughs> but then all of a sudden they come at me with that shit in the third act. I was like, what just, uh, what just happened? It's like I was watching a totally different movie at that I point. Know. I swear. It's like watching like everything the was people fine. that made the Birds of Prey movie or something. It's like, hello, where did this I, come I, from? Like, it just, it came out of left field. Like, everything was felt right in the first two acts. Like, I didn't feel like there was any messaging or anything, you know, anything Apart from the, uh, political. the action and stuff itself, which, uh, you know, it's fun to watch and stuff, but just like... Yeah, of course. It felt like a t totally different team of writers did the third act. To like, as soon as... Yeah, like that... I think as soon as... Yeah. They got to the red room. It just went downhill from there. Honestly, it's like the, I think the second, like in the red room, and then the second when she got the mask or the little thing removed. That's when pff, it just went downhill from there. Yeah, because because then she, he started even, talking. They had, had that the, little. They had that little uh, flashback where uh, they were explaining their plan in the red room, and they were like face swapping or whatever. Yeah. But and, and mm. I'm just thinking about this, but they were prepping for a good while together, and yet their house got stormed <laughs> pretty quick. So the <laughs> pacing was all over the place there. I guess they, yeah. Who wrote the I, third act? Like a man that like did did someone did man, someone like, read the script for this movie? Me. Read the first draft and was like, "Hey, where's all the political commentary? Hello." Like, I don't want to put any political commentary. Where's that? There's, where's put, this, it, we, put, where's we this certain message? We already started filming it. I don't care. Put it somewhere. I guess we gotta throw it in the last minute. Fuck. Like, I, I just... It, 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 it bugs the hell out of me, man. I was really into this movie for the first two acts. I was really into it. Like, the... That's the, the whole scene of them at the, the house, you know, when they were with the family. That was a really just great scene like I, everything I like the development the of the last, characters i think that was the last great scene that like, was one of the best scenes in the movie was just them interacting with the the guardians slash parents or whatever yeah it was then, just such a great the, moment the best parts of the movie are when the characters are interacting with each other for sure yeah like when the sisters and her were when the, the, the Nata natasha and her were bonding together earlier that was good stuff like i was I enjoyed yeah. that. I had, I was liking that. I had to. The action was uh, like, I yeah, had to. Like, I had to suspend my uh, disbelief a bit um, when during some of the yeah. action when they were just like murdering each other and didn't have a scratch on them. Like you gotta yeah. have suspension and disbelief, yeah. but it's like yeah, but they're literally throwing each other through like walls and buildings and they walk up like they just came out of the hair salon <laughs> yeah you know I, what I mean yeah I, I yeah man i don't know what just i don't know man what the hell just happened <laughs> i i was the the action's I, fun to look at if you don't think about it it's, it's oh yeah the action is fun to look at like i didn't, are, it's not the best marvel action scene they've ever seen but i do miss yeah, the but it's, uh, it's good the brutal hand-to-hand -hand combat and stuff i just feel like because yeah, disney got, got is the head honcho too. behind the scenes that they don't want to put in like too much blood i think that's probably why yeah. but it just makes you it makes it made me think of fast and furious where these characters like go through ridiculous things that absolutely should have killed them the hundred times over and they stand up and just kind of brush their shoulders <laughs> off and go oh that kind of tickled <laughs> yeah <laughs> Look, Especially man, that, like that part I, where it, Natasha fell down like five stories and landed on her feet like a cat. <laughs> yeah. I was like, how are your ankles yeah. not like shattered? Like you're only human. <laughs> like, or at least your back is not broken or something. I don't something. care how specially like, trained like, you are, you're still human. Like, <laughs> you gotta have some kind of 
injuries. It's, it's not like she was wearing she had, like, a injuries. Of armor either. Like she was just wearing her regular old and uniform. We, cloth we uniform. saw we saw some in we saw some injuries with her in the when they were after the sister fight. She had injuries on her back because of the fight with Taskmaster. Which speaking of Taskmaster, good God! Mm, 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 mm. I told you before this movie started. I Dude, was like, I was so scared. Don't fuck him up. And guess uh, what? They fucked him up. Marvel. I was so, I was so worried for a while when I heard. I was like, I was, I just, I'm like, I, I don't heard, think they're doing I heard justice. there was a gender swap. I didn't know who. And when Taskmaster slowly started to take their helmet off, I was like, wait, all the genders have been they correct never... so far. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Son of a bitch! They should have never They should have never removed the mask. I'm just going to say it right now. Never fucking remove that mask. If you never removed that mask, I probably wouldn't have had to worry. But, like, dude, if they just re never removed her mask, I would have been totally fine with that. But, no, we had to do this. We had to save her from the control. But, God, like, it's like you said, I know the now, actress too. Now we understand what some of those uh, articles we understand the were deal saying. Now. Those stupid ass journalists yeah. saying, "Oh, men should be should be threatened by the strong, yeah, or whatever, you know, yeah, strong Something females like in this." It's just like, like yeah. now we get it because this third act completely comes out of left field and just completely it it's tells like me everything movie. I need to know, like. Yeah, it just came out of nowhere on me, man. And the thing with like, Drake oh, too, like, oh, you can't be abusive to women. It's like, no shit, Sherlock. That's common sense. I don't need you to tell me this movie. I mean, <laughs> like, like it, it, it. You can tell that because all the because you know it's like all women are controlled by this guy, and it's like, oh, now he's now they're freeing them from control. Like you, you, you get what they're trying to fucking say with that shit, bro. There's no denying. You know what they're trying to say. You know they're referencing a certain someone that I'm not gonna say, but they're, you, and they're you, throwing in and they're referencing certain topics and stuff. Yeah, like it's just. I, I I couldn't believe I was so into this movie too, and I was so mad when all that shit started flooding in, the Taskmaster reveal, yeah. that whole ordeal with him and and Drakov was also like as a villain that he wasn't very. He was hardly in it though. He, he was really, he was not compelling at all. He but. was there was nothing. This was bad. This is basically the villains that we got from the earlier Marvel films, like that just aren't really anything special about them. Nothing really interesting. That's basically what happened here. We got those early Marvel villain, you know, from the early like the first two phases or whatever. Yeah, but man, that go, just. But... I just I don't know what happened, man. That third act just completely put me in a different state at, at this point. It's I, like the I train. Just... The train was on its way to the destination, and all of a sudden, Marvel Marvel was like, "Teehee, it we're going to blow. The fucking... We're going to we're going to derail the train. The train drives off a cliff." Falls into the ocean <laughs> and explodes, bursts, and then explodes or, or whatever. Yeah, explodes somehow in the ocean. Yeah, <laughs> just, I, I, I don't know, man. Like that, that task manager will just really it was like the, the shit out of me. I think a good metaphor is like the Titanic voyage. It's like, ooh, look at this giant ship, mm. and look how fancy it is. Oh, it's so gorgeous, and then it hits an iceberg, and, and then sinks. <laughs> yeah. But like, like I. I, I I know I recognize the actress who plays Taskmaster too. I recognize her. She's been in a couple of movies over the years, and yeah, I remember she, seeing her name earlier. And I was like, oh, I know. She's not a bad well, actress. Like, I'm not knocking the actress. Yeah, she's good. But like, why? Why? Why didn't? You... <sighs> why do you I, need to I force can't... change on existing characters? Why can't you create your own new characters? Like, look at Miles Morales. Like you could have made Oprah. I have seen no yeah. one complain about Miles Morales. Because he's his own character. That's he has the same powers as Spider Man, and that's fine. You can do that, but don't replace existing yeah. characters. That's my point. Yeah. Like T Taskmaster, like honestly, they really underutilized him for this movie. Because he, like, he's a he's a it, pretty like, significant fairness, he, he's a pretty significant villain in, in the comics. Like he does some fucked like, up stuff. Honestly, I'll I'll be honest with you. Watching this movie, he Taskmaster was utilized a lot more and we got a lot more out of taskmaster in the spider-man ps4 game the side quest you get a yeah. little bit more out of him in that than you do in this movie this yeah. two hour two and a half hour movie that's pretty that's that's unacceptable man like if it's a freaking like they didn't game spider-man ps they didn't give uh mm. taskmaster much to do anyway 
Yeah, they really didn't in this movie. I mean, the fights he did were cool, or he, she, whatever <laughs> did. Like, I know it's, I, I'm, you know what I mean, but like, they, the fights were good. You know, she had some cool fight scenes. Like, I'm not going to knock them for what they did. They made him, they made her pretty accurate to, like, you know, she was able to mimic the move that Natasha was pulling. Of course, they kind of seemed like they just kind of forgot about that in the third act because he didn't seem to be doing That's what I'm she didn't saying. Seem to be doing. There's so he didn't seem to be doing a lot of that. The there were so many plot holes. She, like, it's one of the most... This is honestly one of the most disappointing villain moments since, like, the Mandarin. I think it might be worse. <laughs> Jesus. I think it might I be worse. Know, it could be. It's, and, of course, although the Mandarin thing, while it is while the damage is already done, they did kind of sort of fix that when they did that. Like They did, like, a short film with the Mandarin, and they kind of... Sort of retconned him being the Mandarin. They had an actual real Mandarin who didn't show up. It was they kind of retconned that, but still, the damage the damage was already done. But now you got this, and it's like I don't know, man. I I, I think originally I was thinking how well it was doing so far. I was like this could be like a seven or seven point five at least. Now I don't even know. <laughs> now I think like a six or a six point five maybe, like an average or something like that, which is actually. Funny enough, that's the same rating I gave Captain Marvel. I gave Captain Marvel like a six, so this movie could be in that margin of. I saw Captain Marvel average. once, and I was very bored. I think I gave it like a four. Yeah, yeah. I I, I, I gave it like an average. I enjoyed was, yeah. I enjoyed this more than Captain Marvel, despite my complaints. Yeah, that's so. what I was gonna say. Like, I think I would probably like give this like a six point five because I did kind of enjoy this more than Captain Marvel. I don't know if I give. I don't know if I should give it above average rating or not because I feel like that's a little. I'm torn. Between... I don't know that third act. That third act. You know what? I'm giving this a five. Giving it a five. Ooh. It it's competent. It you know it's competently made. You know, props to the director and everybody involved. That um, was going to mention too. For some reason, I don't know if it's just me. I mean, I'm just too like spoiled from watching the other big budget Marvel movies, but. Some of the CGI wasn't exactly up to par with what I've seen in other movies. Some of it was like a it wasn't weird. bad, but like I've like a lot of the explosions. I mean, they looked like you know they looked very CGI'd. You know what I mean? Like a lot of the fire yeah. looked extremely fake in some parts. Um, you know, and again, yeah, some, that's yeah, some probably the... just because I've been spoiled from. The other, because like the CGI and of course the Avengers movies and even some of the uh, solo movies are fantastic. So maybe they just didn't have enough time. Mm. No, I feel like they did have enough time because this movie got delayed. So I don't, we really don't think there's any excuse for that. Um, but again, I don't know. I might just be nitpicking. I don't know what all the COVID hit. Who knows? The uh, the acting was good. But, oh man, um, most of the oh yeah, like, like I said, that was was alright. That house scene was really good. Uh, yeah, but, like I said, that first second act was all great. It was really good stuff. Like the prison break scene with, with the that. avalanche. Although I'm still questioning yeah. how they, no one really acknowledged that they just murdered an entire prison population. Like, oops. Fights. I think fights are well choreographed. I mean, uh, I mean yeah. There was that car chase scene as, as well, it, which you it, know, I feel like I was just watching yeah. a repeat of Winter Soldier when. Uh, their car got exploded underneath. Pretty much. So I feel like it borrowed a lot of yeah. stuff in Winter Soldier. It borrowed a lot of stuff in Winter Soldier. It seemed like they were trying to, yeah. Trying to pay. Yeah, because Taskmaster shot that arrow to that. under the under the, the car they were driving in, which is very similar to what Winter Soldier did to Nick Fury in, in, uh, and uh, when he uh, shot the, the little, I don't know what it was he had. It was some kind of grenade-like Launcher type it's weapon like that had the little disc, disc or thing. <laughs> yeah, magnet thing, yeah. Or frisbee. But yeah, it's kind of it was very reminiscent of that scene. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Of course, he didn't use those arrow. He didn't use the arrow, bow and arrow that yeah. much. He only used it one time. He didn't use it anymore. He's like, oh, I'll stick with my shield and sword, maybe. It's funny though. It's but, like my favorite yeah. uh, action scene was uh, when Natasha and uh, Elena are uh, running away from the organization trying to kill them. After they shortly after they meet each other. Uh, it wasn't even yeah, like the big case. fight at the end, you know, because again, yeah, it was since, it was really good. Since Taskmaster is supposed to predict his opponent's every moves, and then you, they were sh fucking shit, dude. What? They they were still getting their ass kicked. 
Like fucking. <sighs> yeah, I like. At that part, like the first time Natasha and Tessman fought, that, that was pretty good. That bridge was pretty cool. Know, I like that. Yeah, that whole it was short, but it was it, it was, was good. Very short. Natasha it's got her ass kicked, so Tess I was like, Messer, "Damn!" Yeah, Taskmaster wasn't playing games. You know that was to show how badass Taskmaster was. Yeah. Lots of God, uh, what, lots they, of locations. Uh, I, Lots of locations. Yeah, they did the go to a lot. Of, there was a lot of like moving around here. This movie was like nonstop. Like, <laughs> yeah, it was just, like going to different location, different yeah. location. Like it was not. Whew, it kept going and going. But, yeah, I think this is. But, uh, it's competently made. Uh, it's it's one of those movies where I'll probably go on YouTube just to watch the action scenes. I I might rewatch some I, of the dialogue uh, scenes, but. Honestly, once once they uh, get to the red room, I'm probably just gonna stop watching. <laughs> just, just honestly, I would if if you cut out the third act of this movie and just keep the se- first second act, I probably would have given this movie like a seven or seven point five or an eight. Because wow. honestly, that whole the first two acts were just were good. Like I barely had any complaints. That but that third act comes in, man, really drags it down for me. Yeah, I think that if- sucks. It did. I think the movie was a little bit too long. I think you could shave off maybe 20, 25 minutes of this. Mm. Um, I think that yeah. uh, you don't need a crazy CGI fight at the end, but like, I think it would have been nice if uh, you know we get yeah. to spend more time with the family in their house and develop them a bit more, have some drama here and there, and then eventually they start to grow and yeah, like which... each other. After some time they yeah. get tracked to the house and they're all forced to fight together and stuff because that's the thing they didn't even really yeah. fight together in the last like they're all really separate um but it would have been cool to see yeah, them all, all fight at, like the same time like yeah it's a movie about black widow but all, yeah. now that i don't think about it black widow didn't have that much to do most of the work done was was done by the other characters now that i think about it she was just kind of like driving uh, the, for the, the most plot. Part. Plus, yeah, I she think, was, like, like for the, the following and everything. Probably for the first, like, 30, 45 minutes, uh, she didn't even really have an objective. She was just trying to run away, you know? Yeah. It took but, it, yeah. It, it, her sister, I mean. it, kinda, to, it took a while for the movie to get going. Yeah, and I think they were really trying to focus a lot on her sister, you know, to build her character up, it seemed like, in this movie, too, because they developed her True. a good bit in this movie. And I think that's possibly plans for her in the future because, yeah. well, obviously it seems like they're building up to her to appear maybe in the Hawkeye series to go after kill Clint, which I don't know how that's going to go. That's kind of, that's interesting. It's very interesting to see how, what they're going to do there. Yeah. But I that's don't know. It's been a uh, complaint I've seen from people and I can see where they're coming from where they, they get kind of annoyed with the. Mm. Uh, Marvel movies and especially in Endgame, this was a big complaint people had where a lot of it just feels like set up for another thing to come out, you know, because yeah. Endgame is, was setting up a lot I, of the Disney that's Plus this, shows and stuff. Yeah, and I think this movie, in a way, was also kind of a setting up for setting other up stuff the to do in the series. future and setting up other. Yeah, I, didn't, I think that's likely what this was. It's one of those films. It's basically like the early Marvel. You know, phase two movies and stuff like yeah. the solo movies. It's like, oh, they're I'm just setting up curious. stuff. Nothing really. What happened to Red, Red Guardian and Melina? Like, what happened to them? Do they get dusted away? Yeah, what and are they doing? They die off screen. Like, uh, what happened to them? Are they are they just are they living their own life together? And she and uh, Melina's just doing her thing. Because if on her if own Thanos's missions, army you know. comes to Earth in Infinity War and uh, Natasha knows about it. I'm sure Red Guardian and Melina would be more than happy, more than happy to help her fight. Mm. More than happy. Yeah. So either they I mean, got they're, they're, dusted they're, away they're or they died off screen. Like, there's no other... There's no other way. Yeah, I don't know. It's pretty weird, because it's like, that That really kind of puts a bit of a plot hole, because it's like, you know, she could have called him up if she need him. That's why this movie... That's why when you think about it, this movie should have came out after Civil War. This movie yeah. really should have happened around Civil I'd War. I'd rather have this than uh, Captain Marvel. We didn't need Captain Marvel, honestly. Like, yeah. and and that's coming. I'm trying to look at it like objectively. I'm not even looking at it like because I can't stand Brie Larson as a person. But like, just looking outside of that, just thinking about the time that movie <laughs> came out and the character addition mm-hmm. to Endgame. It's like she didn't need to be in it. 
You don't even need that movie to be made. Yeah. So. Yeah, I. I it is what it is, I guess. But uh. Yeah, for Black Widow, it's. Black Widow, I, mean, I give it a five. You give it a six, six point five. Yeah. You're kind of torn. Yeah, around around there, somewhere average or something. At least we had some enjoyment. Which is unfortunate. Just, you know, yeah. Some enjoyment. Yeah, that's true. I'm just kind of like, at least there was some enjoyment there. It left with a bad taste in my mouth because, like, when movies end badly, yeah. it, it gives you a bad taste in your mouth. But I try to look at it from, you know, as a whole. So as a whole, it yeah. was okay. <laughs> it's pretty. It was alright. It was alright. It was action packed. It had some good moments, and like I said, the first second act really good stuff. That third act phew, brought it down a little bit for me there. Good, good bit there. Oof. Oof. But I'm sure we'll, mm-hmm. we'll probably have a little bit, uh, probably some other stuff we'll probably talk about maybe in the podcast or something like that, probably. Yeah. We pretty much touched upon a lot of the things already, but I'm sure maybe there's stuff we'll touch upon in the podcast, I'd say. Yeah. So stay tuned for that. Thank you all for watching, and we will see you then. Later, y'all. Peace.